college redditors. What's the one high school habit each incoming freshman needs to stop doing on their first day of college? I'll start. I Your life isn't over if you walk into class late. Just calmly go in and take a seat. You'll be fine. On the other hand, your life might be over if you wake up 50 minutes late for a lab or exam. One of the absolute worst feelings in the world for me, knowing I really really needed to be there an hour ago and I fricked up the alarm ignored it whatever. Yes, IT will be on the test. After a test, you don't have to stick around. Pack your stuff up and leave quietly. If you're struggling, don't wait to get help. Seriously, if your school is halfway decent, there are is at least one other resource outside of your professor that you can consult for tutoring. You will regret letting your pride and or laziness get in the way of passing a class. Finally, if professors offer to read rough drafts of papers, send take them a rough draft. Not only will you get suggestions tailored to your professor's grading tendencies, but your professor is also aware that they told you your paper is fine except for, so, if they said that one paragraph looked fine and then realizes later it should have expanded on some detail, they will probably be more lenient. You sought help. They missed it. Oh, well. Besides, you'll become a much better writer hearing suggestions from multiple sources. My essay writing has improved significantly because of my professor's input. Making up excuses to a professor if you miss the due date for an assignment. It isn't that they aren't listening, it's that they simply will not care. Stop being so embarrassed when your family phones you comes over. They probably live very far away and came here to see you. Show them some love. This and hug them when they leave, even if you're in front of a bunch of people. No one will actually look at you and think you're a loser for hugging your parents. Grilling everyone like you are the toughest kid around. Going off this, acting like you're the coolest kid around is extremely annoying. No one cares about how much you drank last night. If it's that impressive people will brag for you. My pet peeve freshman year was when kids would regularly swear when addressing professors because we're all adults now. My sister told me a kid in one of her classes swore while answering a question. The professor asked him to watch his language and the student replied freedom of speech. N. Yes. The prof was black. And he was not happy. Go look at the college freshman meme page. Don't do any of that. TL. DR. Don't die. Just because you miss one class, doesn't mean you have to miss all your classes that day. Do every bit of extra credit offered. If you can redo a bad test for extra points, do it. If you can earn extra points for volunteering at some weird event, do it. If you get extra credit for attending every class session, go to every class session. Use every advantage they give you because every single extra point counts. I'm old and back in school but as an example, in one of my classes, I did so much extra credit that I only needed a 20% on the final to get an A in the class. That knowledge is incredibly valuable when you have 3 other finals the same week. Send thank you notes emails to the professors you love, the ones that have made a difference or have gone out of their way to help you. Send it after the class is over and you've received your final grade to avoid impropriety, but do it and be heartfelt about it. They not only appreciate it but, at some point, you may need a reference letter if you're transferring or going on to grad school. I have two former professors that still stop me on campus to ask how I'm doing and offer help if I need it. Never forget reference pages. Cite everything you've looked at, even if you're not quoting or using statistics from it, and if needed, buy an app or extension for Word if you suck at formatting. Do not forget references ever. Stop checking Facebook every 3 seconds. It's amazing how much time it will free up for you. Stop checking Reddit. FTFY. They need to shut the frick up talking to each other during class. I paid to come to the class and I want to learn not hear about your adult escapades or drama. Spare us all and skip class. I hate this so much. There are always a few people chatting, thinking they are being so quiet and discreet because the prof doesn't hear them. And all the while everyone situated nearby can hear every detail of their inane chatter until you just wish Flanders was dead. Maybe not a habit, but a lesson. And I'm sorry if this is a bit negative or heartbreaking. There will be classes that, no matter how hard you try, you will be terrible with. I enrolled as an aerospace major because I wanted to change the world. Despite being more of a history English person, I 
by some miracle. Passed my second calculus class with a D. I had absolutely no hope with my third calculus class. I had a tutor. I went to study sessions. I went to office hours. I was housed with engineers. But at that point, nothing could teach me how to get from point A to point B. It was basically magic. With some loose logic here and there, I failed that class, despite all my effort. I'm not saying that you will also fail, but that there will be classes that will be nearly impossible to ace. It's very difficult to get to all round A's, but maybe that's just my engineering school. Here the engineering average GPA is just over 2.0 I believe, and, no exaggeration, the average math test score is 50% or below, so curving is completely necessary. And always check the class average before you panic, and wait for the curve. I got a 23 stroke 100 on my Calc I exam once. The class average was a 10 stroke 100. My 23% became an A. <laughs> Giving a frick what your peers think about you, and having opinions about your peers based on trivial things like whether or not they wear their varsity jacket. But stop asking random people for a piece of gum when they take it out of their bag. Get your own gum. That last part really hits home for me. From here on out, save yourself some trouble and stop acting like a middle school jackass. I'm into that. I started in a freshman dorm. People crap in the showers six times in my first semester alone. <laughs> Telling people what you got on sat act AP with Aviao. No one will care. Asking people what they got on sat act AP with Aviao. FTFY. You're going to class, not the club. Alternatively, to those same students about two months later, you're going to class, not to bed. As someone who grades a lot of papers essays, please let me urge you, do not, I repeat do not fall into the crowd that sets up teams for classes. I see this all the time, where people say okay I will go Monday, you go Wednesday etc and share notes. You are paying to go to class, so go to class. There are a lot of people who do this and get away with it, but you will very likely end up hurting yourself in the long run. You might hurt yourself in the way of not doing as well on a test because your friend didn't take the best notes, in the way of not preparing in a prerequisite class for a later class down the road, or you may be violating the school's academic integrity code. I just want to take a quick second to address that last one because it's very important and I think a lot of the people who screw up simply didn't take it seriously. Most universities have a zero tolerance policy for cheating. You may think you are getting away with it, but I want to warn you, teachers professors do not need to tell you when you are caught. You can go the whole semester thinking you are safe, then suddenly get a nasty letter informing you that you need to go see the academic affairs council. At that point, you are almost certainly hosed, and penalties are usually as severe as possible to use as an example. Please do not underestimate this, it's a lot more serious than high school. Furthermore, if you are farther along in your studies, you can permanently blacklist yourself in the world of academia, potentially losing job opportunities or the ability to go to grad school, which is becoming increasingly necessary. Not giving a crap. I didn't give a crap throughout high school and graduated with a one something or other. I had no intention of going to college. Spent 10 years in the workforce. Made nothing of myself. Job hopped every year. The last job I had was the longest. I worked there for 2 years. I was up for a promotion that was then given to a guy 6 months my junior because he had a degree. At that point, I quit my job and enrolled in community college. The university wouldn't take me. I have recently transferred to said university and am currently maintaining a 3.92 GPA. All because I decided to finally give a crap. The non-traditional students are always the most prepared, smartest students in my classes. Probably because they are there because they want to be, not because they think they have to. If you are sick do not bring a note from your parents. 1. Be ready to change your major if you need to. What you actually do in a given field of study is often radically different than what you'd imagine. Had a friend go into physics, spent the last two years of his degree programming simulations. Switch early enough and you won't have too many headaches. 
2. You can sneak into other classes. No one is going to stop or even notice you. Do this a lot and you'll eventually be able to talk about just about anything. 3. Use the library. Steal from databases. Outside of college, knowledge is expensive and libraries are sorely underfunded. 4. Most clubs are kind of bulls. Attend anyway. Catch a couple club members outside of the meetings. Get a couple drinks and them. And you'll probably get something closer to what you were looking for. 5. Even if you're living off your folks. If you can swing a part time job, get one. Having a bit of scratch makes having a social life a lot easier. And it's going to stay that way after you graduate, regardless of how cozy you are. Having a social life makes having an intellectual professional life a lot easier. 2. The right friends can do wonders for your academic performance. Last year a guy walked into our class and had to take a spot in the front because it was all there was left. Because he was late. He boots his laptop and starts browsing FB. Little later on he clearly looks bored and starts to watch P. Was a really strange class. Try not to F up your grades your first year or you spend the next 3 plus trying to make up for it. Also, get involved but don't overdo it. Not everyone can be involved in and the president of every organization on campus. But try something. Don't just go to class and then derp around in your room. Buy into the whole college experience, please. Don't shout out snide comments during class trying to get people to laugh. We don't care if that's what she said we just want to learn. Don't wear those stupid lanyards with the school name around your neck. Yes, I wish someone had told me this my freshman year. Looking back, I feel like such a dork. No more raw dogging it, wear a condom. This is huge, college campuses are STD infested. Good god, I know way too many people who get STDs. It's almost expected. Putting your phone on vibrate is not the same as putting your phone on silent. Everyone can hear your phone buzz. Everyone can also see you texting during lecture. Hiding your phone under your desk fools no one. And on that note, no one gives a frick if you shoot a quick text out as long as you're not sitting in the first few rows. Don't be the kid who talks about being gifted skipping a grade your average in high school. If you go to a good school, everyone else is just as smart. If you go to an okay school, no one gives two shoots about that. You definitely need to study. If you had it easy in high school, it likely will not be that way in college. This is heavily dependent on field of study. I busted my butt a lot more in high school than I do now. I used to work university admissions, so I have had a good deal of interaction with high schoolers and undergrads. You are paying us to go to school. Never forget this. It is a business transaction and we aren't doing you any favors. If you think we owe you something, demand it. So many students come into offices with their heads hung low like they're getting in trouble with their parents. Relax, you're an adult. If you act like one, you'll get treated like one. If you don't understand something in your classes, ask, for God's sake, ask. People might give you crap for being that guy, but forget them. You are paying for this. Learn something. Don't just show up. You can come to class late. The professor is not going to judge you in a class of 400. As someone who has taught large classes. 2. I'd rather you show up late than not at all. If you are never in class, I will notice and that will impact you more than if you make an effort. Even if that means coming in 20 minutes late, it will be on the test. If you're asking about the nature of a test the week of the test, you will be pee off your professor. Trust me. Attend office hours. As a PhD student, I am chained to a desk for hours every week. I am not allowed to go anywhere. I am waiting for you. Please show up so I don't reddit myself into an early grave. Don't make excuses for missing a class. If you want to get away with it, be vague. We know your tricks. You only have so many grandmothers to use. Save them for when it counts. If you want a pro tip for late essays that are submitted electronically, just rename a junk.bat file or something to a dot docs and send that. It'll corrupt when it tries to open and you can buy yourself a few days. We get it. You go to our school. The first Thanksgiving back for freshmen should be officially called the hoodie party. Since everyone you know will be repping their university's hoodies and lame lanyards. Get a wallet. Buy a water bottle. Represent a better school. It starts better conversations than a shirt that says I am currently where my shirt is from. If you want to make friends, don't go home every weekend. 
Don't use any icebreakers. Just relax. Everyone is freaking out just like you are. Force yourself to talk to people, though. Go to a club recruitment. Join something. Even if you don't stick with it, it'll make you some friends right away. Put your phone on silent, not vibrate. Stop masturbating in class, even if you are a star athlete. Steve Holt. A couple things from both a student and professor's perspective. First, if you are given a handout that does not look like it was photocopied out of a book, keep the dang thing. I spend a lot of time tailoring some handouts to subtly tell a class how to fix a problem I see many of them making without actively calling them out on it. Nothing is more frustrating than when I refer back to it later in the semester and get nothing but blank stares because you didn't even read the dang thing when we went through it together as a class. Second, yes, I know you are very smart and that high school was easy for you and that you don't really need to study to pass tests or read books to write a decent paper. I was the same way. However, try to keep in mind that you are not in these classes to survive them I'm looking at you lit history majors. You are in them to learn something. You will learn more if you actually do the reading and take the time to do good work. Third, visit your goddamn professors. We are forced to keep office hours for your convenience. Believe me, I would rather be catching up on TV shows and surfing Reddit at home or, god forbid, doing actual research. But I am stuck in my little office with a leaky window and no heat in hopes that someone will come visit me. There is a direct correlation between students that come see me for help and students that do well in my class. I don't even care if you come in to talk about class. I'm a fairly well read guy, and I'm fairly up to date on popular culture. So come talk to me about movies or music or your physics class. That crap fascinates me, but I've spent the better part of a decade studying very different things. We could both learn something, and let me tell you, it is way harder to grade a paper harshly when I have an emotional attachment to the writer. Fourth, hearkening back to number one, keep your dang syllabus. I can't count the number of times the due dates or course expectations that are included in them have saved my butt when it gets down to crunch time in the semester. Finally, know when it is time to study and when it is time to party. In my undergrad I had a friend who was up for anything at any time. He couldn't say no. If I had a free Tuesday night and wanted to get bombed and break out the bong, he was up for it no matter if he had a test the next day or not. However, if he came to my room on a night I was doing work and asked if I wanted to smoke until I saw everything in primary colors I had the self-discipline to tell him to frick right off. It didn't hurt our friendship any, and one of us actually made it through that year with good grades. I'll let you figure out which one. Do not wear your letterman jacket. Do not bring up your standing, awards, honors, achievements, unless you are asked. I hate it when I was in history and heard in HS I was in AP classes and I thought, if you know the answer don't show about your past. Don't see your professors as teachers, and in no way do I mean they're not those who teach, but I mean the fact that, at least for me and many I know, throughout your school career so far, the teachers have been viewed as these much older, almost untouchable people who have this huge status over you. Once I got into college however, every professor I've had has been very approachable about everything. It feels like talking to an actual human being versus someone who could ruin your life by a single word or sentence. TL. DR. Don't be afraid to talk to your professors like a normal person. Do not ever tell someone you're a sophomore by hours. People don't want to know what the university classifies you as. They want to know how long you've been at college. You're not the big man on campus your first year. Although with all the new freedom and change of lifestyle you'll feel like the coolest guy to walk the planet. Remember you're still a small fish in a big sea and just because you have this new freedom you can't get a big head. Stop farting into ziplock bags and hiding them in people's backpacks. Not cool. If you enroll in a Spanish class, form a study group. Putting on makeup in the middle of class, no one cares anymore. Some people just drag themselves out of bed wearing a t-shirt and sweet pants. And, as a professor, I can tell you that this behavior is rude. Most of us will ask you to do this on your own time. Do not be afraid to get a tutor. Lose your pride when it comes to learning. If you do not know something, teach it to yourself or get some help. Some high schools leave you woefully unprepared to handle certain classes. 
there are usually many alternative learning supplements that can help you on your way. Go to every class even if there is no attendance taken. You would be amazed how much knowledge you will pick up just by being there. If you have a hard time paying attention, or are finding a class too hard, sit in the front. This will force your attention span to the material at hand and help me get some more difficult classes. Make a friend in your major that can share your schedule. Having a real friend outside of class can help a bunch if you have to miss something or need help. Always easier to ask someone you know. Go to the gym 3 times a week. It is free and strong body can help your mind and your stress levels. My father the contractor used to tell me, you wouldn't build a mansion on a poor foundation would you? The second you get sick, go to the doctor, eat well, do not get in the habit of eating crappy foods. If you have a choice between a burger and fries and a turkey sandwich and a salad, go with the later. You will feel better, have better energy and be clearer in mind. Learn to be smart with your budget. Making a sandwich and bringing it with you for lunch is a great way to save money, which you can later spend on fun things. Learning to deal with a smaller fixed income will help you be clever and crafty in your spending habits. It is almost always cheaper to buy groceries than it is to eat out for every meal. It is much healthier for you also. Do your sock and underwear laundry as priority. If you have communal showers, get some good flip flops and a shower caddy that has good drainage. Try to always be happy. Happiness is the key to success in life. Always be respectful, even when you disagree with something, especially to a professor. A professor is not always the pinnacle of knowledge. If you want to contend something with the professor, you can always do so in their office. Taking up precious class time with your tidbit of knowledge you learned on Reddit can be a waste of time for everyone else in your class. However, do not be afraid to question everything. As a rising college freshman, this thread will potentially prevent me from looking like a total dumbass two week from now. No, you will. You have been visited by the cat doctor comment cat health to get good health and do not get sick. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.